Hey guys, what's up? It's Mickey. Today we're going to be doing the part four of the tower defense game in Scratch. So today we're going to be working on the shop and bring the first turret to life. So, so far this is what we have. We have a path, we have balloons that fall the path, and the health goes down. And we also have a shop that comes up and down. So the first thing I want to do is bring in the money variable. So in here we're going to bring a new global variable. So for all sprites, and it's going to be called money. Again, in here, we're going to set money to something like, uh, let's do 50 for now. And we should also hide these two variables and bring money to the right here. All right, awesome. The next thing we're going to do is change up some of the looks. So on the path creator, I want to make the pen size a bit smaller. So we're going to make it 35. And then the balloons, we are going to change the kind of how it looks. So first of all, we're going to make these red. Um, and the other color was just a placeholder. So it'll be something like this. We can add a outline of black. And we're going to make it around five, six. Let's see how that looks. All right, so let's make it six. There we go, perfect. And that's the adjustments to the costumes. All right, so the next thing we want to do is bring in a new sprite. So let's create a new sprite. And I've already created the art, so you guys don't have to see that, but I'll show you. So we're going to upload a costume. I'm going to bring in the shop. Here it is. And let's write some code for this. So the first thing we need to do is say when I start as clone, or actually we're not going to be using clones for this. Instead, we're going to go to here. We're going to say when flag is clicked forever, set size to 14 to 400%. And then go to an X and Y that we describe. So in this case, it's going to be negative 155. And then we're going to bring in this plus sign. And we're going to make it attached to the shop Y variable. And then after that, we're going to go back to looks and say set size to 100%. So as you can see, it attaches. And this little trick with changing the size is something I found to make it so that it doesn't attach the bottom of the screen. All right, the next thing we need to do is drag in another script. So we're going to say when flag is clicked forever and then it's going to be an if else with a if else inside the first one and then with an if inside the if so it should look if then if then if then else else that's how it should look so we're going to bring in a couple operators let's bring in the greater than and let's say if money is greater than we're going to make this cost 40 so we're going to make it so that the money has to be greater than 39. And then we're going to say if touching mouse pointer. Um, we need to set the brightness right here. Set brightness to negative 10. So kind of a hover effect. So let's see how that looks right now. You guys can see it does that cool thing. And then we are going to say if the mouse is down. So that means that it is clicking. We are going to wait until, so that's going to be in control, wait until, we're going to bring in a not. We're going to say wait until not mouse down, so wait until you have released your mouse. And then we're going to broadcast a message. And this broadcast will be called by, oops, by turret 1. And we're going to abbreviate with using T1. So in the else, we want to set brightness to zero, and so this is if you aren't hovering over. That way now, if we bring up the shop, you can see that we can hover and it changes the color. So that's something cool we just added. And the next thing we need to do is drag this and change the brightness to negative 30. And so just kind of going over this, if you don't have the money, it's gonna set the brightness to low to show you that you don't have the money. Otherwise, it's gonna do all of this stuff and show the cool hover effect. So the next thing we need to do is bring in a when flag is clicked, and we're going to say forever. You can see we do this a lot. Forever, if we're going to drag in a touching mouse pointer, we're going to broadcast a message, and it's going to be called show turret one description, because we are going to have a little text right here that shows what the turret one does and how much it costs. And then once again, we're going to use the wait until not touching mouse pointer. And then it's going to hide. Oops. 
There we go. And we're going to broadcast a new message called hide turret1 description. So as you can see, what we're doing here is we're saying when you're touching the mouse pointer, so when we are hovering over this, we want to broadcast the show turret1 description. Otherwise, we want to hide it. So can we, uh, let's, let's, we can use, I accidentally misspelled that, um, so I'm just going to create a new one, show turret one description. And what we're going to do is go into a new sprite. And again, I've already created the costume, so I'm just going to upload it. And it is called turret one description. There we go, pretty simple. And for this code, we are going to say when I receive, show turret one description and when I receive hide turret one description and as you can guess it's pretty straightforward we're gonna hide it when you receive the hide description and show when you receive the show description we also want to switch the costume to turret one description because we're gonna have multiple turrets so this make it a bit confusing so we want to make sure it's going to that correct costume then we're going to drag in a when flag is clicked we're going to say hide forever and then we want to use a similar trick. So we can drag this and bring it here. And we're going to use this, but instead of having an X of negative 155, we're going to set it to zero. So as you can see, what this does so far is if you hover over it, it shows the description. So just like that, we have a pretty functional turret in shop. And this is going to be very important for the user so they can see what the description and the cost is. This has been a short episode, but I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time, and peace out.